The Brutkistochrone problem posed by Johann Bernoulli in the year 1696 asks for the path along which an object ascends without friction from one given point to another, under only the influence of gravity in the shortest interval of time. Let's consider A and B as two given points. Now, what is the path of least time that leads to the fastest descent from A to B due to gravity? To illustrate these three paths are drawn from A to B, here the straight path offers the shortest possible distance between A and B, whereas the steeply curved path makes way for an object to relatively gain the fastest initial velocity, while the cycloidal path is neither the shortest nor the steepest. Now, let's find out which one of these objects has the shortest time of travel. Here the object traveling along the cycloidal path was the first to reach point P. In fact, a cycloid is the only way to achieve the minimum time of travel over all possible paths from A to B. Time minimization leads to the answer of Brugkista-Krone problem, and a detailed explanation can be found in the calculus of variations. In short, a cycloid comes out to be the solution as it is the way of the most optimized path, offering the perfect balance between displacement and velocity. A cycloid is drawn along the path traced by a fixed point on the circumference of a circle that rolls along a straight line without slipping. It is also expressed in the form of a parametric equation. Moreover, half arc of a cycloid has special significance as it provides the solution to the Tautokrone problem. The Tautokrone problem asks for a path that makes way for an object placed anywhere along it to reach its lowest point without friction under only the influence of gravity in exactly the same interval of time. In other words, the time taken by the object to reach the bottom is independent of its starting position. This half portion of a cycloid is also called an isochron curve. Now, let's see a demonstration. Here these objects at different starting points reach the end at the same time. Finally, let's see how to trace a cycloid. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.